Hello, everybody. Oh, boy, ladies and gentlemen. You know who that is. It's Noel. Noel's here. How's it going, hey, everybody? Everybody say hi if you're out there in the world. Just say hi to Noel. He'll, he'll hear you. I, I do hear you. Uh, I, yeah, sorry, no. I've got People, this Superman keep it disease. Clean. Keep I've got it clean. Superman disease. I hear everything did all you, the time. It's terrible. No, did you say Superman? Yeah. What a coincidence, because guess what? Do you know, have you ever heard of Dean Cade? I've heard of him. I think a lot of people have heard of it. I, I He was an integral part of my childhood. And yeah. also, times when I wouldn't sleep, he would host various uh, late-night America's Funniest I, Video Style shows. I think he's hosted more shows than anybody. Oh, boy. Dale I mean, maybe Steve, around. Dean Kane and Steve Harvey, I yeah. think we need to get them like alone in a ring to duke it out to see who's actually hosted more shows. Okay. Well, I'll, there's only one Superman, and Dean Kane is would have that title. I mean, there's... That's, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right, so you know what? But, but if Steve Harvey played the Man of Steel, I think uh -huh. that would also be cool. Like the black Superman, the uh, one that was like Earth totally... Two. Yeah, that was covered in, in steel. He was the Man oh. of Steel. So he could do a better job than Shaquille than Shaq. Yeah, I think so. I think Shaq's good for the part, but I think Steve Harvey really has that psychology down. So, he does. Yeah. Although I would I would prefer like the mustache to still be seen. Yeah, with the because you can't get rid of that. No, then it's it, like asking someone to hand over their soul. Nah, I know. I, I I know that as someone who's who's grown mustaches and shaved them, I'm a shell of myself without the stash. So. You see, speaking yeah. of hey, speaking of mustaches, where's yours? <laughs> Listen, Andrew Campbell, you're outstanding too. There you go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Noel, How's and he's he, there's a little project. Okay, a, a little ways back there was. A little bit of a celebrity feud, if you will. One talk and smack about another. I don't believe that for a second. No, I'm telling well, you. Celebrities was, don't do that. They don't they, fight. They do. They do. This is probably more intense than East Coast, West Coast rap. Oh, man. Well, I'm telling you. I'm totally down with, but, with the, you know, the let bad me tell boy you, records. The, the two so. names involved here, okay? And the Wu Both, Wu like, loved... Uh, TV guys from back in the day. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right, and, and still currently, Dean Kane, I see him all the time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, what is Tom Arnold? Tom Arnold. Well, Tom I, Arnold. I, I remember uh, he was married to Roseanne and had sure. a recurring role on Roseanne. Right. And I also remember he had a his own show on ABC. It was the Jackie something show. I can't okay. remember the last name of that. And I remember on The Simpsons, he was one of the people that got flown into the sun in the yes. Halloween episode, okay. uh, along with Rosie O'Donnell. Wow. Uh, and uh, Why'd they do that? Uh, well, apparently the Earth was going to um, have to be evacuated, and certain people were going to be saved, and certain people were going to be flown into the sun, and apparently Tom Arnold made the sun list. So. Oh, you know, yeah. if you threw Dean Cade towards the sun, he'd just get more powerful. Well, yeah, because he's Superman, okay. and the sun feeds Superman his power. Exactly. So, totally. so... Well, anyway, what we're doing is they. I said celebrity feuds, mm -hmm. and it looks like a little while ago, uh -huh. Tom Arnold was talking smack about Dean Cade. Well, that's not cool. No one should be talking smack no. about anyone. You know, we got. You, you know, certainly shouldn't be talking smack about Superman. And well, who, who doesn't like Dean Cain? You know who doesn't? Hmm. Nazis. Well, yeah, they don't like anyone. They no. don't, and they and I don't like them. No, I'm I mean, not afraid to say it. That's right. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, good. I'm happy you're not afraid to. Make a very, very strong stance, stance against with... the most disreputed political stance in history. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, so you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, well, no, these two guys did have a conversation. Uh huh. And and what they talked about was was Dean kind of said, "Why are you talking this stuff about me?" And they got into a little bit. They looked like they were gonna throw throw it out, but they kind of hugged it out. Well, good. That's okay. Good. I mean, I guess there was a little bit of trash talking afterwards, but anyway. Uh huh. I was thinking what, how cool it would be yes. if you, yes. with the markers, okay, you have some were markers to perhaps here. draw a picture of what would happen, okay, uh -huh. if, say, it went to a different level, okay? So, so if hands were thrown, what would that look yeah, like? Yeah, if, if someone was to get into a fight with Superman. Right. Well, and, and assuming Tom Arnold didn't have, like, kryptonite underpants or something like that. You know what? You can't put anything past them. Right. But I will not you check. you got to hide that kind of stuff. Because, I'm, or else Superman would I see nominate it. But not Superman me. does have x-ray vision, but I'm doubting he would want to look. Where well, I'm well if he's about. got lead pants. You see, the thing is, I, I would not nominate myself to check. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know Nor what kind of underpants Tom Arnold's wearing. I'm happy you got standards. So there's that, and then the stance against the Nazis, and that's good. Okay, so so could you draw a picture of Dean Cade, Superman? Perhaps swinging. I think at, this, uh, at Tom Arnold. Is I can give it a shot. I think this could be arranged. Hey, I would like to say we do not condone violence. Absolutely not. 
But we, drawing the violence is has to be contained to paper. Or yeah, belongs. and this doesn't mean paper cuts in, are in, legal. In morality tales about uh, superhumans. Yeah, and we sell comic books, so there's violence in all of them. And guess what? It's art. It's good. Absolutely. It's, and you know what? We pull for the good guys. Absolutely, we do. So here we go. No, let's see what you got. Give it a shot here. So I'm going to lay, uh, just for the sake of, uh, you know, having a little bit of a safety net, we'll sure. uh, throw some uh, really uh, layer of yellow down the, here. The process is fun to watch, people. You might not be able to see it on camera, but there's like a yellow base. It's like he said, a safety net. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I mean, I can, you know, try to white knuckle this, but I'm also a teacher. And I always tell my students to do outlines before they outlines, do their, do their rough writing, drafts. rough drafts. Yeah, beautiful. So, I mean, that's good, good teaching. Um, so but, this way, that you know, if something goes wrong, you know, you're not married to the line that you put on the paper. So. Right. No, no. I've, we've noticed you've come to the store a few times. We always love having you here. I love Heroes being here. and villains of Ab Cortland, New York. Absolutely. And you know. When we, we see you here, sometimes we see you interacting with the, the students that you've talked with. Uh -huh. They seem to like you, Noel. Well, that's good. That's yeah. got to feel good. It does. Uh, yeah. They, I'm, I'm happy they... They don't view you as a stick-in-the-mud kind of teacher. Sometimes they do, for oh, sure. Well, if they're bad, <laughs> maybe that's what happens. That is uh, what happens when you are bad. It looks like we, it looks like we have a call. So oh, you, let me, let me, a uh, caller? Yeah, we have a caller. Uh, uh, yes, you're on the line of Heroes and Villains. With B and Noel. Who's calling? My name's Dallas. Hey, Dallas. Oh, Dallas. All right, good deal. How are you? You sound like you're, what, 50? I'm actually nine. Nine? Okay. You might read about articles here on the news about me. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. I have a question about for you, Noel. Uh, what, what, what's that, caller? Did you start... Drawing. When did I start drawing? Okay. A good question. Well, I started drawing a, a giant heads with arms and legs coming out of them when I was five. Wow. We did the, did the, did the adults ask if you needed psychiatric help? Uh, yeah, they did take me right to the psychiatrist. And well, then they gave me something of a lobotomy. That's not true. You know what? You uh, turned out fine. You <laughs> turned out fine. Um... And then I just, I was one of those kids that always liked to draw funny things in school. Right. And uh, then when I got to college, I took some art classes and, uh -huh. you know, just, um, I just like to draw. That's what I uh, do when I'm not uh, teaching or making video game reviews on my lovable YouTube channel. So. Wonder, wonderful. You know, that was a good call from Dallas. Thanks for calling in, Dallas. Thanks, caller. That was fantastic. I am not caller, no. Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Masked man. <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, back to the drawing. You know, that was a good question. When did you start drawing? That's a good... I got a question. Uh-huh. Will you ever stop drawing? I hope not. I got dark. Uh... I got real dark there. I, um, plan to have my brain put into a robot body, and then, you know... I'm gonna put my brain into a, um, Commodore 64 computer monitor, because those I, things will survive anything. Look, so. nothing beats the real thing, Noel. You're the real thing. That's true. Okay. Uh, well, you know, that and, and Coca-Cola advertising has taught us anything. So That's true. That's right. So. Oh, look at this. That is a dark light. What is happening now? Well, we'll just see. In, we'll, the, in uh, the process, what are, you, what are you doing? Well, right now I've laid down, this isn't, you know, super sophisticated, but I've so, laid down a, some, you Is know, that a head? Rough lines here. And whose head is that? This is going to be Dean Kane. Superman's head. You know what? Dean Kane is known as being a very handsome man. No pressure. I know, right? I mean, this is going to be kind of cartoony, so, but hopefully I can uh, capture Dean Cain's magnificence here. So Okay. Now, Dean Cain, he, I don't know, he seems like a, he's a pretty well put together guy as yeah. far as his wardrobe here, so yeah. I'm wondering if I should uh, put him in a suit or if I should uh, have him... Wearing like a leather jacket or something. You know, so. the, the video, I did see a video circulating out there where this confrontation uh -huh. nearly happened. He was wearing a leather jacket. All right. All right. And, 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 and just so you know, Tom Arnold was also wearing glasses similar to the ones you got on right now. The hipster glasses are cool. I, yeah. do, I do enjoy the hipster glasses. They were Clark so. Kent-ish, but there was only one Clark There's Kent in that Clark room Kent. that day. Absolutely. Oh, we got an earthquake going on here. Wow. Sometimes nine-year-olds don't have great balance. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> who among us is uh, not uh, falling down? That, so you know what? Ask. I don't know. Everyone has. Yeah. Well, it's, it's easy to fall down outside today. It's super icy. So. Just have Nancy Kerrigan going on out there. 
You know, speaking of, uh, you know, our our talks, our yes. last interview that we did, we did do some pro wrestling references. And oh, yeah. That uh, Nancy Kerrigan uh, thing. Sure. Uh, did you ever watch WCW in the 1994 period? I, I, I did, but I probably might I might remember something if you mention something. I might, Do you might remember try. when um, Brutus the Barber Beefcake clubbed Hulk Hogan's knee and Hulk Hogan was on the floor screaming, why me, why me? And this happened like right after Nancy Kerrigan. That is brilliant. It was amazing. It was it was just it was amazing. It was awesome. You don't so, do that to the Hulkster. No, you don't. It's uh, it's terrible. Uh, but, I mean, that, that, that storyline was awesome that, you know, Clubbing Hulk Hogan's ankle is, is not good. So, uh, WCW in the nineties. Yeah. Like, speaking of that, so it's like yeah, that period of time. It's like I was watching you know Lois and Clark on sure. Sunday nights. Uh, I think it was show. on Sundays at seven, and a lot of viewers. That yeah, show. it was a good show, and uh, Lois Lane was certainly not hard on the eyes. Terry Hatcher, yeah, absolutely, and Terry um, Hatcher. Maybe we should have him drawn it wearing like a Superman shirt or something. Hey, you know the world is your oyster. It is true. That is the fun thing about drawing here is uh, you can. Uh, How do you think these guys would fare if they were in say in WCW or WWE? Well, I think uh, Tom Arnold would probably team up with the Disco Inferno because they seem like they're. Pretty similar in persona. Okay. And Dean Kane would probably be friends with Lex Luger before Lex Luger. Oh uh, boy, that name decided to dabble in the Dungeon of Doom. So. Oh uh, man. I think uh, I think like anti NWO Lex Luger would be uh, about Dean Kane's style, and I okay, think okay. Disco Inferno would probably be about Tom Arnold's style. Okay. Uh, now, if they met in the ring. Dean Kane and Tom Arnold. Yeah, they bet in the ring. They're they're tag team. I think with it's who? gonna. So let's say Dean Kane and Lex Luger uh-huh. versus Tom Arnold and Disco Inferno. Sure. Uh, let's say it's a steel cage match. Oh. I say that uh, Tom Arnold runs for the door asap. Uh huh. Gets caught by the Man of Steel. Yeah, yeah. By by Dean Kane. Caught and by the then, Man of Steel. And uh, then will get thrown into the torture rack. Ouch. Uh, by Lex Luger and will tap out immediately. And uh, Disco will desperately try to break the hold by doing his uh, Saturday Night Fever I don't antics. know. I think that would probably be how things would play out. If that would have been very good television. It would have been amazing. Um, absolutely would. All right, so Tom Look Arnold. you got going out he's here. He's like a t-shirt kind of guy. And so here's. Okay. We'll have Dean throwing some hands. And he'll be his leather jacket. Leather. And it's fun to watch you work, man. Well, it's fun to work, and, you know, this is... Honestly, you know, this is one of my favorite places to be, and one of my favorite things to do is just to I mean, draw. That touches the heart. Well, that or you're having some kind of seizure or something, which we hope that's not happening, right? So. Oh. <laughs> right. Just so, so people know where we're at, we're at Heroes and Villains of Cortland, New York. Yeah, it's my favorite comic shop. And, and you know what, Not is it too far away from right now? No, it's not. I mean, honestly, I live right around the corner from this place. Do, so. But do you know what's coming up soon? Like oh, on what, the calendar? What is, would it be the Heroes and Villains Convention? That's right. Saturday, April 6th. I got to mark that on 2019. my calendar. 2019. No, no, are you going to be a guest? I, I'm going to be here and be square. So. Whoa! That's right, people. Come on in and know we'll, we'll draw squares. I will. That sounds wicked I will, awesome. I will draw Tetris. The for squared you. circles. Yes, and I will draw the NWO and Hulk Hogan and Sting. And you know, what? I love that Hacksaw you... Jim Duggan, who's coming to town in the very near future. Hacksaw. So. Do you so. want to say ho? Do you want to say it? Ho. That's two by four. Dude. USA. USA. Perfect. USA. USA. I... Look, do you hear that, folks? That's a fab. That is exactly. And how can you not be a fan of Hacksaw? Ooh, yeah, who Jim doesn't Duggan? like Hacksaw? Hacksaw's. I, well, you know, I met Hacksaw when he was in uh, Ithaca, uh-huh. and uh, he um, he uh, had this really funny thing he said. He's like, you know, I'm pushing sixty, but Hogan and Flair still call me kid, and I thought that was hilarious. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so, and I drew a picture of Hacksaw. He was super cool. He signed uh-huh. it. He said like WWE Hall of Fame Hacksaw Jim Duggan, twenty eleven. And he oh. signed it. I got a picture with him. He was a super nice cool guy. And absolutely deserves to be in the hall. Oh, no. He's awesome. I, I In fact, I knew Hacksaw from WCW. Okay. Because uh, I, I was much more of a WCW fan 
than a w, uh, WWE fan. Right. Um, so, yeah, Hacksaw, he was always, like, the U.S. champion and upper mid-card when I was watching WCW. So, uh, and really, really funny, cool, charismatic guy. Nice people. It's nice. So, this is cool. Uh, how about Tom Arnold? We'll give him, like, a Roseanne shirt or something. <laughs> like, not, like, not, not trying to be political. I'm just saying, oh, like, so, you know. So, like, what would he wear? Uh, so, like, the, like, Roseanne. Would like, he have a shirt that says, I am Tom, as, like, a reminder. Yeah. Spelled backwards <laughs> for beers. Yeah. I don't know. Or, uh, or Mott. So that would be like the bizarro Tom Arnold since we're in the comic shop. That's here. true. But and we mentioned Hall, the Hall of Justice. Absolutely, that's where DK probably hangs out. Well, you know, like Hulk Hogan, who you know turned into a bad guy. You know, he had like oh, reasons was... for turning turning bad. Like the fans turned on him, man. Like, so he turned back. Yeah, he, he's like, oh, you want you you want to like bad guys? I will show you a bad guy. You know, and then he you proceeded know... to craft his new world order. What would twenty four? Inch pythons do to a fan? Uh, well, uh, Hulk uh, was known in Japan for the Axe Bomber, Ooh. or Axe Boomba, as Boomba. it was pronounced there. Okay. So what do you probably do? He's probably chuck him into the ropes, right. throw himself into the rope, uh-huh. and then hit them with that clothesline, sure. while a Japanese announcer kept screaming Axe Bomber repeatedly, and then cool. Hogan would pin for the three. In fact, that knocked Antonio Inoki out. Hogan is the first uh, New Japan... Um, well, not New Japan. The, the first IWGP heavyweight champion, and the IWGP belt is what is defended in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, um, And you thought you were just going to watch someone draw people. Yeah, there's a wrestling. People, who like, people like Dave Meltzer and Wrestling Observer and all those guys, like, they love Japanese wrestling, and they say Hogan can't wrestle. Hogan is hugely popular in Japan because yeah. he is the first IWGP so champion. he earned it. Who knocked out Antonio Inoki with the x He earned so. it. You know, it would be a cheat if either one of these guys were to visit Heroes and villains, and I'm hoping someday it would be very cool that Dean Kane would visit our store. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, no, no, I would, I would. Um, so I'm, I'm married, right? Sure. And uh, my wife and I'm totally fine with this. Has told me that you know she used to have a crush on Dean Kane. Oh no. So no, that's cool. I mean, you know. Well, you know, I will, what? get in line. I will get a line. So and she and I'm. See Dean Kane and in all of his glory here yeah. at Heroes and Villains. The, sure. uh, I would love to be handsome. Well, you know, I, I'm not, you know, you're, you're, you're a handsome man, my friend, and and you have a face for, and voice for radio. So, I, ah. <laughs> you, you know what? I've got a face that not even my mother loves. Well, I mean, it's, it's she. I didn't mean to get sad. No, me. it's all right. You know, it's uh, who, who, uh, who I, I don't know, I don't know your mom, but she well, might, she would be kind of a Sharon. hard. You know, Sharon might uh, be kind of a hard, hard, uh, hard uh, egg to crack. My dad's name is Steve. Uh, okay, well, right. you know, that's, that's, that's a nice Steve name. as well. Anyway, no, what, what, is this done? I'm, uh, so I, well, I made it out to Dean, and actually I'll make it out to Tom, too. So sure. Do Dean and Tom, and, uh, there we have it. So, uh, you know, this is a, a nice black and white, uh, picture of, that's uh, cool. Dean Kane throwing hands with Tom Arnold, wearing a Roseanne shirt. I'll tell you and, what, uh, Tom's not having a good day right there. Well, you know, I mean... I I wouldn't have chosen to wear the Roseanne shirt myself. I mean, I, I uh, wouldn't have chosen yeah. to talk smack about Dean Kane. Right, and you know that's that's the bigger faux pas, right? There, yeah. That, so yeah. There, look at that. There you go. So we should all respect each other. And Absolutely. A and B do not start a fight with Superman because you know this this could happen. And, yeah, uh, that's a mistake. Yeah, so. it's not it's not wise to do. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. And we uh, any time, Noel. If you want to do the videos, you draw. Good things. Happen. I will. I will come back uh, off. And I actually uploaded the last one to the channel, uh-huh. uh, my YouTube channel, and uh, what's I got the name of that? Uh, the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Noel Comics uh, YouTube which channel. Which is the uh, the Noel Comics. Okay. An I X right there. Ooh, that's uh, hip. All right. Noel right. Comics. Edgy, right? Like Generation X. Yeah. It's all got the '90s all up in Noel here. Noel Comics. And uh, yep. Yeah. And so stop. I got lots of nice feedback on our last video. Uh, and uh, look forward to coming back and doing more. And thanks for giving me the opportunity to uh, do what I love doing. Can you set it right here? That way we can d- get a good look at it. There you have look it. At, that's beautiful. I dig it. What a hit. Good job, Noel. <laughs>